welcome to a new video. Today I am filming a daily vlog. I don't do these very often because I feel like 80% of the time I'm just working at my computer and being very boring to watch. But today I do have a few things that I want to show you, which is mostly hacking my Ecoline markers. So I mentioned this in a video maybe a few weeks back about changing the colours so that I could use them a little bit more. So we're going to have a play with that. I also have a Patreon print to post and send, so I need to pack that and we'll also do some art because I haven't done any for a few days and I'm feeling it, so there will also be some art process in here and just my general day to day. I've already been working for a couple of hours and I've done my admin and emails and boring things like that and I've also cleaned my desk which was definitely needed. I generally try and do it every day that evening or in the morning before I start fresh, just so that it's a clean slate and then I will no doubt make it messy by the end of the day anyway. So I'm going to go grab another cup of tea and then let's jump into the eco lines and we'll have a little play there. I don't really know what I'm doing so this isn't like gospel, I'm not doing a full video on it, I just wanted to put it in this vlog so we can have a play together. Okay, so like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but these are my Ecoline pens. Now there are definitely some that I use all of the time, which are mostly the more muted colours and the ones that I can use in my landscapes. This one is grass green and that one is quite bright, but I do use that one quite a lot. It's quite a nice green for like lawns and things. So these are the ones that I use the most, so I'm not going to touch these ones. But these ones I did get a multi-pack for and some of them are just a bit too bright for me. The yellows I bought a pack from TK Maxx so that was really reduced but I don't use that many yellows so I want to try and adjust the colours and just tone down some of the brightness especially on like the greens. Um, let's see maybe definitely a yellow and maybe we'll test like turning down an orange and making a more ochre shade. Um, I've also got this very bright blue and I'll show you the inks that I have as well. I've also just remembered I did buy a white as well so let's show you the colours I've got. So two of these I bought just as a refill so these two pens here are my most used so the 374 pink beige and the 728 warm grey light. So I already have these, these are the Ecoline liquid watercolours and these are refillable, so I'll just show you that first. You just unscrew this, there's a spare nib there as well, and then you just literally drop this into it and refresh it. So when I was showing about this, some, there were some comments to suggest that I adjust and hack the colours that I do have so that I'll use them more often, which I thought was a really good idea. So I've got the 728 and the 374, and then I also bought the 259, this is the ochre, um, oh sand yellow it's called, but I thought this would be really good for toning down the greens. And then the other one I got is the Ecoline 100, so this is just the pure white. And this one feels a bit thicker than all of the other ones, so it will be interesting to see how that goes in. I don't know how this will go, I haven't watched any videos or anything, but I'll start by swatching them in my sketchbook so we can see if there are any changes, which hopefully there will be. I didn't buy a huge amount of colours just because I don't want to have, like I don't really use these as they are standalone, I would only use them to refill the colours, so that's why I went for what I've got and we'll see how it goes if it's any good. So let's start with swatching these. So this is the yellow, this is 233, it's a really bright sunshiny yellow. It definitely has a greeny undertone. And then this is the 600 green, it's just a bit too garish for me, I generally wouldn't use that in my landscapes. Uh, 236 light orange, and this is the 522 turquoise blue. 
so those are the colors that we're starting with let's try with the yellow now the only concern I've got with this is it might be very full already because obviously I haven't used these very much so it looks like let me see if I can take this off yeah so you can see in there there's like a sponge which I presume just soaks up all of the um, liquid watercolor I don't know how it will mix I don't know if I just need to give it a really good shake I reckon if I pull that out with a tweezer it would just be a really long sponge in there so I don't know how this is gonna work but let's give it a go so to tone this down let's add in some of this pink beige and I might also put in some of the sand yellow I want this to just kind of be like a color that I can use for past and things so this is how you get quite a lot in here and I do really like that the eco lines are refillable so I'm just gonna try and drop this in I'm doing quite a bit because that yellow is definitely way too bright for me it does look like it's seeping down quite well so that's good and I will give it a shake just in case it looks exactly the same at the moment I think this is gonna take a bit of trial and error let's also I think it like because it's so saturated in there I think it will need quite a few drops so let's also add in some of this sand yellow well, I thought it would be more of an ochre so that's kind of similar to that um, so I definitely want to use more of this pink beige but I think that that yellow will be good for the green and I, I've got to be careful because I don't want it to like I do want it to actually sink into the sponge but I don't want to over saturate it with too much ink that seems okay and then of course I've got to let it soak into that nib so it might take a bit of time so far it's not changing it that much let's start on the green as well I'm gonna store it like this to try and encourage it to go down to that nib uh, let's go on to the green so this one I definitely whoa this one is very um, wet already so I don't know how this is gonna go I'm just gonna grab some kitchen towel this is already a very juicy pen I probably should have got a red as well because I do like a lot of red into like in my greens when I'm mixing it with gouache so I might have to revisit this and the blue maybe I'll add a bit of the grey and also the white the white one is the one I'm unsure of because it's so much thicker at the moment this feels like a bit of a fail I wonder whether I should have got a red I think this is just gonna we're gonna have to see how it goes so this is the white and you can see it kind of looks more like the consistency of acrylic ink even though it does say acrylic uh, liquid watercolor it's a lot lot thicker so I don't know how this will go in I'm just gonna drop it in like the others it's so much thicker that'll take some time so let's go back that yellow there's like barely any change I think what I'm gonna do is I show you what this looks like maybe they're just not saturated enough to affect I should have gone for bolder colors maybe but the point is I want to mute these down I'm gonna add some white in here okay I've just grabbed my tweezers I'm gonna see if I can get it out so I can look at the sponge you can definitely see how far the ink has to travel down this and obviously this is just like pure pigment maybe oh, it must have a casing on but I think the sponge is in the middle so maybe I'll try and fill it up from the bottom and um, let's see if I can put the white in it's definitely pushed it I think that's pushed it through so maybe that's all right let's see a little bit more white definitely looks like it's changed color so maybe that's the way to go oh I forgot to put the thing in well that probably hasn't helped I haven't done that for any of them let's put that in well 
it feels oh you can kind of see here actually where it's coming up so I think that's still old let me get a scrap bit of paper I can kind of see it's coming up the nib so obviously the nib still has the orange on it oh yeah it's definitely gone lighter I think that's the way to go so that's definitely lighter but I think it's still not light enough let's try and add some more I think definitely work better to pull out Oh look, you can see there that nib. I wonder whether I should just, whether I could swap the nib as well. So you just pull it out. So this is how, like, if that nib goes a bit um, worn from use, you just swap it around like this. And we'll pop that back in. There we go. Okay, so that's in now. Let that nib soak up some of that colour. It's definitely wetter. Oh nice, okay. So that's a little bit lighter actually, so here's the top one. It doesn't look that different. It feels like this one is darker. It's definitely lightened it. Oh, I've done that under the blue. Let's do that with the blue. I want to make this a really light blue, so I'm going to... I'm going to pull this out and then put white in the bottom. So interestingly, now it's hit the white, I feel like it feels a lot drier. It's definitely not as wet as it was. And it's a, it's a touch lighter. So you can definitely see it there. It's definitely lighter, but it's, it's still quite saturated. I think it would need a lot of white, and I don't think that that would fit in. Let's go back to the yellow. So this sand yellow isn't as ochre as I thought, so I don't think there's much point changing that. I'm going to put a lot of this one into it, I think. <laughs> That's what I mean about it not soaking in. You can, I'll show you in this towel how it's just sort of sitting on the top. No, <laughs> that didn't work. I, I wonder if it, they need to like be a bit used, but the problem is I'm trying to make them usable. So, so that hasn't really worked out. I do think a red would help with the greens, but I don't know how it would help any other colours. Because I, we can try them again later and see if they've finally absorbed in, but to me they're just too saturated and you'd have to put in so much of the other colours for it to work. So I'm not sure about that. But there is something that I do want to do, so I'm going to try and clear up this mess and I'll come back to you. Okay, next experiment. So I bought these, these are water brushes from Amazon. There was a set of six and I want to see if I can, well I'm not going to fill all of them but I want to fill some of them with ink. So there are some different nib sizes, so they're all go from like large to small. I do have some already from Derwin which I got this summer which have been amazing and they've really changed my plein air practice because obviously I don't have to take a water bottle with me. They look like this and these have been really good. They've, I've really enjoyed using them and they've got this little push button so I'm gonna stick with these for water but I want to try and put these with the ink in so then I, if I do work outside I don't have to take like bottles of ink like this with me to dip into it. I can just take one of these. These are a lot more flexible and flimsy. You can see it kind of like bends and breaks, whereas these ones don't. So for me, I feel confident that these wouldn't leak with water, but I'm not sure about these ones. These were super cheap on Amazon. I just want to see. So I think I'm going to put some uh, ink into here. I've got these Rora and Cleaner inks, which I bought from Colt Pens. Again, I'll link them down below. So I've got the old golden green and the ochre. I also have this one, which is a, it's called Alt Bordeaux. I use this for my fountain pen. So I'm probably, I don't think I'm gonna use that one, but maybe I will, I've got enough pens. And then this one, which I bought from Choose and Keeping, which I don't use very often as it is. And it was a different color to how I expected. So I might fill one of these as well. I'm likely going to fill these um, thicker ones because I use those more compared to like this really fine detailed one which I use less So hopefully <laughs> this will be a little bit more successful than that previous eco line one 
Um, I have heard of people using these Ecoline inks in them, but I've heard that they leak. So I think these are just too, um, like something that they put in them doesn't like these water pens. So I have got a little syringe, um, which I bought again from Amazon. So I'm going to try and syringe these in and we'll see how it goes. The sun has actually come out, so I might be able to go plein air, which I didn't think I'd be able to do this morning when I looked at the weather. Cool. Okay. So that's worked quite well. It's going to take, I think I will need more in there, but it's going to take a bit of getting used to of like not going to the ink bottle to then dip it. And when you want some more, you just sort of squeeze it through. And I think this will be really good for texture. I mean, the brush isn't great. You can see it's already separating, but that that's quite a nice technique as it is. And also where you're not putting, like if you're not squeezing all the ink through, you can get a really nice dry brush effect. And then obviously when you do squeeze it through, well, it's really wet. So that's pretty cool though, quite, oops, sorry, um, versatile there. It's definitely going to be coming through because the sketchbook is quite thin paper. So that's good and I think I can just leave it like that. It'll be interesting to see if it dries out. Depends how airtight these lids are. No, it does clip on so hopefully that would be airtight. I'm just going to fill another one. I'll do the next size down with the ochre. Cool, that one's worked all right. And then I would like to use this more. So I'm going to fill that chisel one with this one. I'm going to give it a good shake because it is like made from plant material. So I think it needs a good shake beforehand. Um, I can't open it. <laughs> it's really sealed tight. This. This whole video feels like it's doomed because I can't open it. I think it's I think it's stuck on there, which is annoying. Um, I might have to wait until Mitch is home to get that off and hope he's strong enough to do it because I really can't get that off. So that's very annoying. I feel like will this video see the light of day? I don't know. So let's grab this one. Oh wow, that's come out really purple. On In my uh, fountain pen when I journal, obviously because it's a finer nib, it doesn't look this purple at all. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I think this will be good for like line art. So that's cool. I think it's really interesting to use these not just with water, but um, I have definitely heard that you can't use this because it leaks, so that's something to think about. And we'll see if these leak as well, um, just because they are not the best brand. Um, so there's my three ink pens, and this this was a bit of a fail, especially with not being able to open this and the eco lines not working. Um, so I'm going to do some computer work now, and then maybe we'll go to the lake and create some art um, if the weather holds. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. can see the mess I've already made behind but I'm just going to pack up that Patreon order that I mentioned and then I'm going to go for a walk because the post office, the post box is on the way to the lakes so whilst the weather's nice I'm going to do that first, pack that, um, prep it for posting and then we'll swing by the post box and head to the lakes to do some plein air art.
So I'm just walking back now. I seem to time, have timed that with exactly when a class of children were on their lunch. So um, usually, like last time I did plein air, I kept the nice background noise on with the birds. Um, but I have spared you from that because there were a lot of screaming kids. Um, but it was still really nice. Um, it was about 10 to 15 minutes that I was sat there. Uh, so nice to just get out and take a break from the desk because the rest of the afternoon that's where I'm going to be. Um, so yeah, just walking back now, but it's a really lovely day actually. A little bit windy, but not too bad. patrons so today video I'm going to So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for coming with me on my day today. The eco line was definitely a bit of a fail. That wasn't really how I planned for this look to go. Um, I think I definitely needed different colours. I don't know, it just didn't go as I planned, but I'm really glad that we did go plein air painting because that really turned my day around. Once I couldn't open that other ink, I thought I didn't think this whole vlog would happen because I was like, what's the point? Um, so I'm really glad I got out and managed to do that plein air painting because I felt so much better after that. And I do find that I generally do feel better after creating. And then obviously this afternoon we did some admin and stuff so I'm really pleased with what I managed to get done. I know that stuff isn't very enjoyable or entertaining to watch so hopefully it's been a good balance especially with the drawing outside part. So a huge thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you next Sunday with a new YouTube video. See you later!